Hi guys, welcome back. So there is a new eyeshadow palette tag rolling around, it seems, uh, created by Samantha March and Allie Glines. So we figured we would just like jump on, on in on that <laughs> action since we love eyeshadow. And did the last one they did, so. Yeah, we sure did. So if you're interested to see what all the questions and picks are. What everything is. <laughs> just keep on watching. So we will kind of mention these. Um, some of them have some like overlap. We do, we have a lot of eyeshadow, but when it comes to our top faves, like we are right or die for them. We don't even, nothing could ever compare. We so the first, the first prompt is our all time favorite palette. Um, now Vic and I both agree, this is not one that we need to split up on in any way. And most of you guys should know if you've been here for more than 24 hours. Take a pause, take a pause, take a pause. What do you think? think? Let's think critically here. What's our all time favorite palette? Who would have guessed it? Bada bing, bada boom. Natasha Denona Gold Palette, baby. Um, now this is not one that I use that often because well, we have a lot of eyeshadow and if you see this palette, you can see it's been beat to hell. All right, and we always need palettes in rotation as content creators and makeup lovers. But this palette, has everything I could ever dream of right it right there. Everything I could ever dream of. It doesn't look like it. It looks neutral with a pop of blue, but I'm telling you. <gasps> I threw out a whole eyeshadow. <laughs> At least it was the one that I've never used. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. This bottom corner shade is one that's like cute or whatever. It's cute in the crease, but it's just a shimmer. <laughs> it's just a shimmer. But all the ones we have pan in are the ones we love the most. So like lime chrome and brass <laughs> and whatever this stuff. sparkly shade is fucking love them. This is this is the greatest palette of all time. It's also one that and every, every time I wear it, every time I wear it, I'm like, wow, I am a glowing, beautiful goddess of I, the ocean and fucking grass. I forgot they discontinued this. We, well, I had like a whole mental breakdown about it. Yeah, I know we were going to film a whole video on it and then didn't we didn't but we probably could. I'm pissed about it still. Yeah. I'm hoping this means she's coming out with a reformulated, revamped version. I think that's what, because the, this is an OG. This it's is a classic. A, like, I've never, I've never met anybody who's like, yeah, that palette sucks. Yes. Whatever. <sighs> Everybody's like, that's the palette. Yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. Dude, I locked myself out of my phone earlier because I was using your password again. <laughs> Okay, so the next prompt is our new, well, is, is, is a new favorite palette. I'm not going as far as new, like, new purchase wise, but I'm just meaning like newly a favorite in my life. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, for me, that is the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream Palette. I got this for Christmas last year. Mm -hmm. Kayla. Christmas. Uh, from my friend Kayla. And it's a little pink in areas because my daughter likes this one as well. <laughs> um, but I just, I really fallen in love with Glam Light's formula and I find that I can do wearable color looks with this one and it's also the only time i've ever fallen in love with pastels um so it doesn't this palette doesn't really look beat to hell but i use the i have used the absolute crap out of this and i love it so 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 much i love glam lights formula it's really bomb it is really good uh my new favorite is uh one that i also got that same time as well <laughs> kayla you produce bangers only <laughs> um, <laughs> 2020 Christmas, baby. Um, but Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde is one that I have been loving. It's currently in our project pan, so you guys have heard me talk about it a few times. Um, but for whatever reason, I have had such a good time playing with this color story. I haven't gotten bored of it. I haven't ever gone in here and been like, uh, I have to use it. Like I, I love, love, love the, like the deepest matte in here. And that's probably why I like it so much. The deepest matte and the lightest shimmer are two that I use in almost every look at this point. Um, and I just feel like subtle color, subtle color. That's what it is. It's definitely still loud for the average person. But for me, this is not loud. This is subtle color. Um, the textures and the shimmers are brilliant. I just really, really enjoy um, Huda's formula, honestly. And we, the newest Rose Quartz palette Vic has really loved. I still haven't used it. Um, so I'm interested to try everything. Okay, so the next prompt is a palette that we keep for the memories but is no longer available. Um, for us, that would be the Midas and Smoky Glow collaboration. This one, 
holds a very special place in my heart. Uh, unfortunately, Lena was busted and, and dead. It came that way. Uh, we received this in PR because uh, we had DM'd Smokey and we're, <laughs> Hannah, and we were like, hey, is this palette going to be limited edition? We're doing a no, no buy for the yeah. time being. So, you know, we want to purchase it at some point because we want to support you. But there's a hair right in my eyeball. Holy <laughs> shit. Um, but we don't want to, you know, break our no buy at this point. We just mm -hmm. want to know the time frame for this. She's like, actually, I would love to, you know, have it said to you guys and it was just like a kind of like a, a big most, moment it was like a big moment because it was it was like our well we, first we watched her PR piece we watched yeah. her grow too so like we did get like the whole pr box but when we started following hannah she had it was because of a collab she did with angelica was yeah angelica mm -hmm. about like how to be an instagram model or whatever and at that point i don't remember her having over ten thousand followers and now she has blown up of course into this very well-known um youtuber and she's even mentioned us a few times on her channel like i i love her to death i love her content um i don't always follow it just i'm not a big drama person but for like all of those it was such a good time in our it makeup was. life it was uh, we don't i mean i don't spend as much time on youtube as i used to not even close so i feel like i'm so out of the loop with the creators yeah. that i love and i want to support and i'm not supporting them not like on purpose but not also on accident you know um but I do, I love Hannah and this, we love. And this Midas palette is really shutting great. down as and well. And Midas is now shutting so, down. Which is really very it. sad. But this, this, I like fell in love with this palette because I was way into pink at that time. I still like sort of am, but <laughs> that's a whole other story. <laughs> All right, the next prop is an underrated palette. Now I'm sneaking in another Midas um, palette of ours. And this is the Midas X, the basic B, the basic B. Um, if you are not following her, Please, do please mean? do that. Please do that. Why are you wasting your time here? Um, this is the Perception palette. We do have a review on this palette, um, and I have used this quite a few times. It's not as beat up as I would like it to be, but there are a lot of dips in this palette for it being a newer palette um, in our collection, in terms like less, like a year old or less. Yeah. Um, but God, like I all love of the, the deep, deep mattes are so good. The like, deep so mattes. Good. Oh my God. This blue performs fairly well for one of those bright blues. Like it's not like the one in the Kaleidos Escape Pod palette. Um, it performs pretty well for something of that color. Um, the shade Psyche or Psyche Quantum um, Motive and Entity. All of the shimmers except for this deeper one here are super textured, super special, super gorgeous. Super flaky. Um, Psyche or Psyche, I'll never remember, is like a Cleona-esque shimmer in my opinion. Like I just love this so much. I think the matte white could be a little bit matte whiter, but outside of that this is a just to die for palette and I just genuinely can't think of um, a better color story that I could put together myself. Yeah, so. it's really beautiful. And I also feel like in that palette specifically, compared to the Smoky Glow palette, those are the only two Midas palettes I think we've had mm -hmm. to test out. But the formula is, at least on the mattes, is like so Superior. much better yes. in the Perception palette. Just saying. Uh, for my underrated palette, I'm choosing Midnight Sun from Pat McGrath. Um, not that this doesn't have like a cult following, because it kind of does. There's like, there's the Pat McGrath lovers. And they all are like, Bronze seduction Rider guy. Yeah, bronze seduction always. And I love bronze seduction. Don't get me wrong. I love bronze seduction. But Midnight Sun has the two best shades Pat McGrath, Pat McGrath has ever released, which is this one and this one. The two best. And I this is also in my project pan, so I've really, really, really gotten familiar with it. Um, but even the like the first time I used this palette, I felt head over heels. We've got a three looks, one palette with it yeah. too. And I just, I just always feel so beautiful in this. I have part of it on my eyes today. I just, <laughs> I have no problems reaching into this neutral palette. Not, none at all. None. The, and I love the texture in here. It's everything that I could have ever wanted and more. And I always feel good in it. Like it's just spectacular. I could just go on for the rest of my life about how much I love this. <laughs> the, mm -hmm, redo. The next prompt is not a fave, but can't get rid of. I love this prompt, by the way. So like, shout out to you guys for doing that because this is a genius prompt because it's just, it's the reality for a makeup collector. Not it a is. fave, but can't get rid not of. Not everything can be a favorite. No. So if I, you, I mean, if you have that much makeup, yes. anyway, not everything can literally be a favorite. Mm -hmm. Um. So in this one, we have Pat McGrath. I don't fucking know what, what it's were you called. Nocturnal Nirvana. Nocturnal Nirvana. Pat McGrath bought a Nocturnal Nirvana. Now, this was a favorite for a long time. 
All right, we loved on this quite a lot. Um, not like we did use it a lot, but like, it, there's pretty big dips in the blue mm -hmm. and the green. And yep, the and the purple. Um, the, gold. the the yellow gold is why it is not a favorite. Well, and also <laughs> I feel like this is her this is her baked special shade formula, mm -hmm. similar to the if you're familiar with Pat's formulas, uh, similar to the purple and Midnight Sun. It's not the same uh, flaky textured sort of mm -hmm. shimmer that you will find in her special shades normally. Um, it's still very pretty and very impactful, mm -hmm. but it's not what we go for anymore. Exactly. Yeah. So I would say I would say the the blue and the green are the most special shades in this palette. The purple is more of like a satin. Oh, I use the purple the that as like an outer corner color every mm -hmm. time I use this palette. And then the yellow gold, I, I quite literally I think don't I've used it once, it, and so. I hated it. We're not yellow gold people. No, I'm, and I hate Pat McGrath for putting them in every one of her palettes. I know, it's I know. But no. I understand it looks great on deep skin tones, so that's probably I'm sure why. it looks great on a lot of people, but I'm not one of them. <laughs> yeah. so the next prompt is our favorite eyeshadow pal pal oh, palette collab, but that is no longer available. Um, Technically two fall under this category, two, but the but the other one also falls into the other category. So I guess we can just mention both of them. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, so the first one we have, and I thought that this was discontinued already. I'm very um, conflicting. I'm pretty sure Ali even said in her video that it was discontinued. Oh, she mentioned too. that one. I haven't watched that. Um, <laughs> but this is the ABH Jackie Ina palette. Um, ours looks a little bit uglier than Ali's um, because it has been uh, abused to a uh, pretty bad degree yeah. so hopefully jackie's looks something like this um there has never been an abh palette that ever came close to this no this is stunning i literally like when there were a bunch of complaints about this palette i did roll my eyes along with everybody in the world because no there's nothing wrong with this palette if you love like we are so in the day and age of like press pigments and mm -hmm. like the most pigmented eyeshadow and then uh, the most pigmented eyeshadows get released and then we hear nothing but complaints. Um, that doesn't make a lick of sense. This is stunning. The shade Zam has to be the best ABH shade ever produced of That's all so time. Um, credit, the deep brown is a beautiful neutral slightly lean, leaning warm brown, which is why it's so special because I feel like it pulls more neutral on my eyes and so you can mix it with everything in here because it's not too cool and it's not too warm so you can use it with the pinks and purples and you can use it with the oranges and mm, this is such a lovely brown. Brown. and ginger is like the best warm brown <sighs> please 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 i love this so much jackie i could give you a big smooch this i love this so much this one would be the kaleidos and angelica club nebula palette so um i'm so glad we received this in pr because I, I wish we had two I, I also wish we had two because I I used the fuck out of this for my project pan and I had no issues with yeah. it. I was in love with it. The only shade I didn't hit pan in is a uh, Samus? Samus? I don't, I don't know. I can't remember how you pronounce it. But the peach because I don't really wear peach a lot. You know, I will wear orange and I will wear pink, but I will not wear peach very often. <laughs> um, but it's, I just love the shimmers in here so much and the mattes are also really, really fantastic. But like everything just everything about it is so good. I I fell in love with like this light brown too. Like it's so cool toned. It's like an eye contour kind mm -hmm. of cool toned. It it leans is it, very is gray. It, is it is it like the shade in the, the J Star Androgyny palette? It's like the shade in the J Star Androgyny palette. Back in the day when we used to um, <coughs> own that. <laughs> Yeah, and I think we decluttered that because I didn't use it at all, but I wanted to use it all the time, but I actually didn't love it as much as I wanted to. But that one shade had like a grip on me because yeah. it was just perfect for my skin tone. And this one falls in line with that. Same with this like deeper cool tone, purple. cool tone, purpley blue, gray, slaty color. It's just, it's so unique. It's the most unique gray, like dark gray that we have because it has so much purple and blue to it, but it's not like Oh, it's, it's just so flattering. It's so flattering. The shimmers in here are divine. My favorite shimmer was Firefly, which is the, the, the green. light green. But I think my new favorite shimmer in here is You're My Only Hope, which is the like icy lavender color because it's so icy and it's so shiny and it's so sparkly. I just, it's so good. The jewel tones in this palette, I have yet to find, yet to find one singular jewel tone formula as good as that. Oh, it's in a so powder eyeshadow. The deep green, the deep blue, the, oh, the deep purple. So yeah, this also falls in line with my 2021 favorite because again, it was in my project pan last year, but was that last? I don't even know. Yeah. I don't even know what time year. is anymore. But yeah, I mean, 
literally we got it and and i never put it down yeah. <laughs> well and i used it too like, i was like I, every day every day and like on the weekends i'd be like okay let me take a break from my club nebula and then i'd be like but she's right there and she's beautiful yeah. and she's staring at me dead in the eyes and I it just, was one of those that you just every time you went so to pick up something to else, you were like, "But it's not as good. But it's not. It's not this. It doesn't have and the colors I need. Yeah, it's just a... need. I say more. It's perfection. It's perfection. It's perfection. I'm begging another brand to do it. Begging, pleading. <laughs> <laughs> the next prompt is palettes that or palette that sparks joy. There just happens to be two of us. Um, if you guys couldn't guess at this point, well, I would like to mention any and all of our Cleona and or JD Glow and or Luxy, um, random single, single shadows. shadows, glittery things. Um, those cream shadows those sparked shadows. the most joy, but they are not a pre-built palette. Um, now, funny enough, this one's all matte, but Busy Art Grand Pro Volume 3. Um, this is my favorite matte formula of all time in existence. I have a three looks one palette up with it as well. Um, I just like they blend themselves. They and, like, really do. They, they do all the teals. Great. I have never found a more perfect variation of teals. These are phenomenal. The light, the light blue, the light blue, the light, when I, the light blue. It's just so good. It's so opaque. And the best thing about Viseart shadows is they look good packed on the lid. Oh, they do. I cannot say that for any, any other, other matte shadow, shadow that I've ever found. Because no. every other matte shadow, if I pack it on the lid, it gets patchy. Every single one. I, mm -hmm. I don't know how people do it. I don't know how they do it because I certainly cannot. Every time I try to do an all matte look with one bold color packed on the lid, it fucks up. Um, these do not. They're just... They're foolproof. They really are. And I love the variation of browns in here. I love the deep, 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 mm -hmm. dark, like off black. Yep. At the top. Colors at the top. And you know what? I love this palette so much. And I'm very glad I do because it's 175 freaking dollars. Well, I don't think it's even available anymore, but I think it is just not in the USA or not, not on Sephora. Oh, maybe. Um, uh, this might be a holiday thing, but anyway, I just... I know they re-release it every year and if you can get it on a sale and you are willing to splurge i can guarantee it's banging it's banging but just make sure you're not uh buying it when you already have 12 other rainbow palettes you know what i mean yeah for me a palette that sparks joy is the melt mary jane palette um because my dream <laughs> my dream i actually want to pull this in. i might use this i don't know on saturday maybe i'm gonna see my bf so um I, it's just I love these grungy neutrals so mm -hmm. much. I love the cool tones. I love how one side is like cool tone, but like a little olivey, mm -hmm. and one side is just like regular cool tones, except this like lightest shade, it still has a little bit of olive to it, or a little bit of green to it anyway. Um, but the mattes, like this is the best melt formula I've tried. The mm -hmm. shimmers are so fucking crumbly, but but right. I love them. I love how impactful they are. That's I, everybody hates that about Melt. That's my favorite part about Melt. I don't like their mats that much, generally speaking. Um, but these mats are really, really fucking good. They're really fucking good. And every time I have used this, I feel like uh, I sexy bitch. own the world. Yep. And every time I use this, somebody's like, you look fucking good today. I'm like, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Next prompt, newest palette to our collection. We have two because we bought them at the same time. Um, well, we didn't buy them at the same we time, but we're not time. gonna go through our order dates. Um, we got them for each other for Christmas. Vic got me the Vive Essentials palette, um, which I have thoroughly enjoyed using. Um, I thought I had it in my bucket and I didn't, and I never went out to pull it out and find it, but like the black in here is really nice. The cream shade in here is really nice. This really light gold glimmer um, has to be the best light gold inner corner shade that I could ever possibly find. It's got shimmer running throughout it, but it's almost like it's like a spicy satin. I don't know. It's so nice. I really like the way it looks. Um, and it's very like reflective. I think the matte formula is nice. It's buttery. Um, shimmer formula is a little scratchy, but texturally pretty appealing. Yes. Um, I have the rose quartz from Huda that Rachel got me for Christmas. Um, I have not used this as much as I need to. I need to like pull it in rotation and really consistently use I it. I used it once, um, but I have used it, I think four times and I do really, really like it. I think it has really gorgeous like it's like a cool tone palette with a twist sort of mm -hmm. um and i just love that like it, it all leans a little like lavender 
which is very, uh, lavender looks really good on me. It's my favorite tone of purple, lavender and like periwinkle, but that's more of a blue, but I digress. It's just really beautiful. I even like the jelly shade a little bit. Like it's pretty on the eyes, longevity wise, not on my lids, but yeah. you know, on somebody else's, I like the vibe. Um, I like the mattes a lot in here. Huda does great mattes. The shimmers are textural, texturally very, very, very nice, except like one or two of them that are like kind of meh. Did you use Alien on your lids? Yes. Okay. From Danessa. Yes, I did. Um, but I just, I just think it's really beautiful. And I, I just feel like you can't go wrong with it. Like, I love the blush tones. I love the cool tones. I love how there's like a couple slightly warm tone mattes. It's just like cute. It's so cute. We did it out of order. So our last prompt is a palette that we did not expect to love. Now, if you've been following us for any length of time, you know two things about us. We love Natasha Denona and we love color. All right, those are two important things. It's almost an oxymoron. Yeah, <laughs> it's so, definitely a contradiction. It's very difficult living this life. Um, but my mom in last year, right? Well, Christmas of 2020. Yeah, yeah. 2020, not 2021. Um, so technically, two years ago, I suppose, would fall in this category. Are you sure? Yeah. This this year was 2021 Christmas. It's oh, now shit. 2022. Shit. I don't even know what time it is anymore. <laughs> um, this is the Natasha Denona Viva palette. So my mom got this for me. And while I do have a few qualms with the palette, like the shimmers, um, I, I like them. any of the shimmers. I, I like them well them. enough, but I feel like all of them are a little bit too dark or a little, like just a little bit too dark. That's all it is. Just a little bit too dark. Like, yeah, the inner corner, the, the colors that would work typically is like an inner corner what I would want are not light enough for me mm -hmm. and but they're too light for an all over lid shade um so I'd like to say the reason this is my favorite palette is for the bottom or not <laughs> not my favorite palette something I didn't expect to love this damn bottom row the bottom this row damn has bottom has row tusk and this fucking black here and the gray and the fucking the red browns and the fucking oh my all god. the mattes in here my really god they're good they're so good they're good and they're t like the tones in them are just they just do what Natasha does. Like this is like a pink brick, a pink brick. I don't like a, I love it. I love and having it. having a cream to powder black is like the most functional thing ever. Yes. Oh, it's so good for a smoky wing. Yes. And I mean, the best part about it is, you know, we can take it out and we can put in shades that we would use more frequently. Mm -hmm. So like your shades in your depotted palette, we could like switch out a couple of the, like the shimmers and stuff. If and we so desire. You know, if we so desire. So, you know, we love Natasha Denona palettes desperately um, forever. Um, but this one was a banger and something Sweet. I most definitely expect, did not expect to love very much. Yeah. And I guess we sort of didn't do this one, but the first palettes used in 2022. Oh. Mine was, Mine was Midnight Sun, I think. I'm like pretty sure Midnight Sun was the one I used that day. Where's the one? Where's the one? You used V, right? No, NYX. Oh, NYX. Oh, it's probably in the little palette thing. Did you not pull it off? I thought I did. Uh, my first palette used in 2022 um, would have been the mini um, NYX Utopia, Utopia palette. I will insert it. However, it's about, uh, six pan, five pan. Yeah, it disappeared on me and I don't know where I put it. <laughs> It couldn't have gone. It far. couldn't have gone far. I haven't left the room. Why do our NYX things just keep vanishing from our lives? I don't know. Where's that concealer? Where's man? my fucking concealer? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know where it is, but that is a really, really, really cute little palette. I adore it. So if any of you were looking into it, I would say um, 10 out of 10 recommend. It's a go. It's a go. Um, and with that, that wraps up our palette video. So only thing I want to do is uh, eat. Yeah, I'm starving. Sign off and get some food um, and watch some New Girl or whatever. I really wanted to watch um, that 70s show and apparently they took it off of Netflix, which is a bitch move, uh, but it's fine. I was, you know, I'll suffer. I'll suffer through life this way if I must. It's cool. Um, but whatever. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more of our lovely faces. Um, and depending on when this gets uploaded, um, I hope you enjoyed the tag. Uh, if not, you may skip over this video <laughs> because the tag has been six weeks old. Uh, it just depends on our uploading schedule. So uh, thank you so much as always. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.